Peace, it's Terrell Lion Martial Arts Academy. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Pretty recently, um, the students here had a sparring session in the Wing Chun class. And so what I want to do, instead of doing a deep dive breakdown into one particular technique, I want to show off the techniques of Wing Chun actually working in live action, where it's not a demonstration, punches and kicks are being thrown, we're not going 100% because obviously none of us is getting paid millions of dollars to fight. So none of us want to knock the other person out nor be knocked out because most of us have work the next day. The sparring is live, is real, the techniques are, are real. And I just want to show forth how Wing Chun actually works in real situations. Quan Zhao, rolling hands used to deflect an opponent's attack away from your body supported by the front and back hand with the rolling motion. Lapda, lap sao or grab and punch. The lap is the trapping technique of creating room for a punch. Bong gurk, wing leg, used for deflections of kicks to the lower body. There's three types of bong gurks. There's a bong gurk inwards. There's a regular bong gurk. There's a bong gurk outwards. Gum sao, chai gurk. Stepping back created the space so you don't break your hand, allowing a step to be able to retaliate with the kick. Chain punches. Wing Chun's secret weapon. No explanation needed, just watch. Dungirk. Into chain punches. Low kick for the setup, chain punches for the finisher. This is off the dummy form Paksao, Kyun, or circle around either to a left view or pull back for a trap. And then Faksao. He countered with the Gansao, cutting the energy of the Faksao in half. Double Lapsao and Soul Gurk. Sweeping Kick. Dangerous to go straight into it, but great effective tool for getting your opponent off balance. Biu Ma Faksao. Moving forward for the chop. Rising Faksao. Found in the dummy form, unstabilizing your opponent. Great timing getting under the shoulder of your opponent's strike, and the dummy is followed by a kick. Jepsun Gurk. What do you know? Jepsun Gurk. Wing Chun's side kick. More so, diagonal. Hyun Sao, Juk Jong Sao, notice the time to disperse the energy of the strike to the body, then the sideways palm strike placed on the chin, and also blocking the intended strike from the other hand. And the dummy is a Hyun Sao Tan Sao, then high palm, but you can isolate it and just do Hyun Sao high palm. Bong Gert Bong Sao, wing arm and leg moving from mountain sao to tan sao dispersing the energy off the center line and a horse stance punch to change levels and get a little more extension on your strike dai bong sao tan sao against chain punches similar to the philly shell found in the last section of the dummy form double gan sao to block the kick used against strong attacks that one hand can't handle lap sao punch receiving the energy and used it against Bong Gurk Chum Choy. Most people kick and leave their heads unprotected. So when it's unprotected, just punch. Quick Pak Da Gum Sao Biu Sao. Found in Chum Q and Biu G where one hand slides off into a Fak Sao or Biu Sao, depending on the lineage. In the form, the hand retreats to the chamber. In application, the hand stays locked in place for protection against the strike. Hyun Gurk or Circling Leg. Both to circle around or behind the leg of your opponent and use as a sweep against your opponent. Found in Buji and Mukyeon Jong. Jeet Kune intercepting fist found in the first move of the wooden dummy. What Bruce Lee based his whole fighting art around. Bu Ma thrusting step double lop sao and so good. The Bu Ma crashing in makes them want to crash back. Then when they push back you let them and grab a limb and use their momentum against them aiding you in the sweep. Be like water. When they expand I contract receive the energy. When they contract I expand. When they pull back I go in to strike. Black when needed. Alright so you block when needed. When the opportunity presents itself don't think just strike. Don't hit. Free your hands so it hits everybody had assignments and they passed their assignments beautifully 
um, whether they were advanced level, intermediate, or beginners, everybody had an assignment and, do it and did a great job on that assignment. So I'm proud of everybody. Let's go ahead and so show our thank you by chain punching that like button. <laughs> and then after that, go ahead, abuse out that subscription button. Little abuse out, little, uh, little tap, just uh, this finger, bam. Subscribe if you want more because we drop something every Monday and Friday and the occasional Wednesdays. Even though technically how things have been looking, it seems like I drop something every Monday and Saturday because there's always some type of technical difficulty. But I promise you, the next video is almost done. So it'll be out Monday and then we'll have another video Friday. And I might, I just might have another video Wednesday. If not this Wednesday, next Wednesday. It'll be, it'll be great. Trust me. Thank you.